Okay, in this game, we have the Patriots and we have the Dolphins, right? We have Cam Newton and the Patriots, and we have Tua Tagovailoa and the Dolphins. These two teams met earlier in the season and the Patriots beat the Dolphins. So I'm pretty sure the Dolphins are looking for some payback, right? Because that was a tale of two different teams, right? Initially, early in the season, there was high hopes for the Patriots and no one was really paying attention to the Dolphins. And now that we're deep into the season, the Dolphins are fighting to make it into the playoffs and the Patriots, well, even though they mathematically have a chance to get to the playoffs, I really don't see it happening. Uh, so, you know, the Dolphins, on the other hand, they're fighting for the seventh seed. And, and as we know, due to COVID, due to the pandemic, the NFL expanded the postseason. Instead of six teams from each conference, now seven teams from each conference make it. And right now the Dolphins are tied with the Ravens for the seventh seed. However, the Dolphins hold the tiebreaker over the Ravens because they have a better win percentage in their conference. So if the Dolphins win out the remainder of their schedule, they're in the postseason. So they're basically in the driver's seat. They have control of their own destiny. And Brian Flores, the head coach, who is a phenomenal head coach, by the way, is well aware of this. I'm pretty sure Tua is aware of this. I'm pretty sure every player on the Dolphins team is aware of this. So they're going to come into this game not only looking for payback, but fighting for their playoff hopes, right? Like they want to make it to the postseason. So this is a big game for the Dolphins. It doesn't mean the Patriots will not want to win this game. I'm just from a desire standpoint. I always look to me when I look at bets, I look at meaning. How important is this game to a team? To me, it just this game means a lot to the Dolphins. All of their season rides on these next couple of games for them because everything they've accomplished will be for naught if they don't make it to the postseason. So they're going to want to A, come in and get some payback and B, win this game. Now, the first time the Patriots beat the Dolphins, different quarterback, Ryan Fitzpatrick. And in that game, Ryan Fitzpatrick threw three interceptions. And what do we know about the Patriots? When you don't play clean football with the Patriots, they will take advantage of it and they will beat you, which is one of the reasons why I like the Dolphins in this game and which is why I'm going to recommend the Dolphins in this game. Right now, the spread's at minus three points, and this is what I'm recommending. I'm recommending the Dolphins minus three. Why? Because Tua takes care of the ball, right? Ever since he's taken over the Dolphins, he is four and two as the starter, four wins, two losses, and in all those games, Nine touchdowns, one interception. And the one interception he threw against Kansas City, it wasn't his fault, right? The receiver should have caught it. It got tipped up. It got intercepted. It really wasn't Tua's fault. It was actually a well-thrown ball. And that's what I like about Tua in this game. He takes care of the ball. He makes wise decisions. He's really not playing like a rookie quarterback. Now, is he throwing for a gazillion yards? No. The last two games, he's done really well. But overall, no. But you don't have to do that with the Patriots. Last week, uh, a golf threw for less than 170 yards and the Rams dominated. With the Patriots, you just can't beat yourself. So as long as Tua doesn't throw a bunch of interceptions, I see the Dolphins winning this game because the Dolphins can match the Patriots really well. They have a better defense than the Patriots. They have a good coach like the Patriots. Now, he's not as accomplished as Bill Belichick, but Brian Flores is a good coach. His team will come prepared for this game. So I don't see a mismatch at the coaching uh, uh, in the coaching department, and I see an edge to the Dolphins defensively. Now, if you look at the Dolphins defense, you, you'll miss what they're good at because defensively, they're ranked 21st against the run, and they're ranked 18th against the pass. So you think that's not impressive, but their second scoring defense in the NFL. They're allowing a little less than 19 points per game. And they're number one on third down. And they're number one in the red zone. So they'll give you some yards on the ground. And they'll give you some yards through the air. But once they get to, to close to the end zone, their defense is ferocious, right? That They have Xavier Howard, the cornerback, who leads the NFL in interceptions. Nine interceptions on the year. He's ranked number one by pro football focus. And then they also have Bobby McCain, the safety. He's ranked seventh by pro football focus. They have Emmanuel Ogba, who is 10th, uh, currently 10th in the NFL in sacks. He has eight sacks on the year. Like this defense will let you move the ball. But once they get to the red zone, they're the best defense in the NFL. Once they get to third down, they're the best defense on third down. And in takeaways, they lead the NFL. Right now, they're the highest scoring defense in the NFL. 
So this defense, to me, you know, straight up against the Patriots defense is better. Even though the Patriots have a good defense, I give the edge to the Dolphins. Uh, and I, you know, I just believe the Dolphins are a better defense. They're more intact. Everyone's healthy. And, and they've just been playing really good football as of late. So my, my thing is, is this. Tua is getting comfortable with this offense. Miami Dolphins have a phenomenal defense, especially their secondary. So I, you know, from a coaching standpoint, from a defensive standpoint, I think the Dolphins are going to control this game. I also think the Dolphins are going to get Cam to turn the ball over. I also think the Dolphins defense will produce a couple of fumbles, interceptions here or there, and that's going to be the turn of this game. Hey everyone, thank you for watching SP Sports today. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. This way you are notified when we post new videos. Also, if you have a moment, leave a comment and check out our other videos.